COVID-19 has caused a lot of adjustments to the education system in the United States. Now that some college and universities are taking the safety measure of holding all classes online for the upcoming semester, this causes a problem among the international students attending those universities. An institution that is offering all of their classes online, uh, international students either must go home or transfer to another institution that is offering classes either in person or a hybrid. Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE, made the announcement Monday. International students studying in the United States may not take a full online course load. Visas won't be issued to those going to those schools or programs offering online classes only. And of course, the difficult situation brought a long reaction. My initial reaction was that the we don't know where that leaves graduate students. Um, and just, I was really angry. My initial reaction, and I think it goes along with many people in the higher education community, was surprised, you know, that this was so sudden. The decision negatively impacts institutions as well, especially those that already made the decision to hold classes online in the fall. Many institutions must now weigh their options of how to accommodate every student. Some institutions have thousands of international students to have this, all of a sudden this policy stating this. It's really a, a very difficult thing to deal with, you know, that they now have to figure it out or go back in their plans or something like that, what to do. So it's, it's very impactful in not only international students, but also uh, many institutions. The decision also takes away what international students have established here in the United States. We have our whole lives here. We can't just go back. Um, we have jobs, income, cars, spouses. Some of us have children. Uh, plan for careers. People are saying that the biggest recommendation for these international students facing this situation is to reach out. You know, I think that they uh, should contact their school officials to make sure that they're getting the right information. Uh, many schools, and, and I know that is the case with, with our community in the Big Ten, Penn State and other institutions in the Big Ten are posting on their websites information and Q&A question and answers about about what this means. Reach out to everyone. Reach out to your deans, reach out to your school staff, reach out to your friends, to your student reps and and your faculty and professors. Colleges are losing a big part of their student body and what international students have to offer when it comes to this decision. We welcome and we're happy about what the international student population uh, brings to our institutions to Penn State Baron in, in this case. Not only do they bring their culture uh, and they bring, uh, you know, their 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 knowledge and they contribute to to our dialogue and debates in class, especially in this world and age of um, of global economies. That's why these institutions are working on a plan not only for safety but for quality of life for all students to have access to the education they deserve. Odessa Meredith, YourErie.com.